some. I'm gonna go. Oh, this apartment with uh, with Karth. Yay! Right, you alien scum. Uh, that's Everybody, what? get up against the wall. This is a raid. He took three hits to hit him in point blank range. That's how we Sith deal with smart mouth aliens. Now the rest of you get up against the wall before I lose my temper again. What's this? Humans hiding out with aliens? They're Republic fugitives! Attack! That's racist. Bye-bye. Entrepreneurial type, so he's not trying. No problem. Check out the Got area it. here. Well, hello there. Who are you? What are you doing in here? You can't just come barging into someone's home. Oh, I'm sorry. That's no excuse. You can't just go around barging into people's apartments because you're curious. But at least you're more polite than that pig Holden. Dead. Just one of Darvik's men who can't keep his hands to himself. But all he got for his trouble was a nasty scar from my vibroblade. Too bad I'm the one still paying the price. That right. I, I don't want to talk about it. I'm in enough trouble already. Besides, I don't know if I can trust you. Ah, oh, come on. It's me, Lando. Well, I suppose you seem like an alright sort. When I cut Holden, it made him back off. But it also embarrassed him in front of his friends. Holden's a spiteful little hut slug. He went and put out a bounty on my head for what I did. That's why I'm hiding out here. Can I help you? I doubt it. Holden is one of Darvik's men. When you work for the local crime lord, the authorities tend to turn a blind eye. I'm afraid this is between me and Holden now. What if I... try to figure something out? You could try, I guess. He usually hangs out at the cantina in the lower city. It probably won't do any good. Holden's used to getting his own way. That's one of the fringe benefits of being a goon for Darvik. Working for the local crime lord lets you get away with things. Still, I appreciate the offer. I can't help you there. Since this thing with Holden, I've been scared to leave my apartment. I don't know anything about what's going on in the outside world anymore. Okay. Goodbye and good luck. I hope you can talk some sense into Holden. Of course I can. Right. I am Lando. Please, Lando is an entrepreneurial salesman. He knows all about these kind of things. Why are you sound so feeling? Alright. Hundred 
10. That's the best armor I could buy right at this point. And this gives me a bonus to sell. Hmm. No, maybe I'll come back for this. If I get some more money. No problem. Got it. I just need ten more. I'll probably be able to get it if I keep exploring. That goes where I want to go. No problem. Got it. circle back around and go by that because you can never have too much armor. Hey there, what what what, what were you walking? I just cleaned those floors. Well alright then, no hard feel. My name's Kadir. I'm the janitor for this building. You must be the new tenant here, eh? Never thought they'd rent that abandoned apartment. Hmm. You look like an off-worlder. What happened? You get stuck here because of the quarantine? Can't see any other reason someone would want to rent that old apartment. Can I ask you some questions, kind sir? Don't know how much I can tell you, but seeing as how you're new here, I guess I can try and help you out. Decent enough place to live, I guess, except for the lower levels. That's where the swoop gangs hang out. Just stay in Upper City and you'll be fine. You also might want to check out the cantina. I used to go there when I was younger. Good place to get a drink and find out what's going on in the upper city. Where that just keep Sounds like Lando's kind of place. complex ring until you come to the elevator. It'll take you out to the upper streets there. And, and from there, just head south a ways. You can't miss it. Don't know how much I can tell you, but seeing as how you're new here, I guess I can try and help you out. Hmm. We're gonna get some stuff, man. Well, the best place to go is probably Kebley Yurt's store. She's right across from the cantina, so you can stop in for a drink if you get thirsty while you're shopping. Just keep following the apartment complex. I love how much this is like. To the elevator. They you really want you to go to the, the ca cantina to advance the plot. And from there, <laughs> because just head south of Wayne. Why else? The, the, every response is like when he talks I about it. Seeing as how you're new, telling me that I need to go there. Not much of an issue for me, you know. I ain't never left Tars, and they ain't never gonna. A lot of other folks are sure riled up about it, but I don't really know much about it. I prefer to keep to myself mostly. But there's plenty of people at the cantina who'll be more than happy to tell you what they think about the Sith and their quarantine. Good no, thanks, buddy. I should get back to work anyway. I'll probably see you around. I'm here most of the time. The building doesn't clean itself, you know. And he's probably my favorite NPC in this game, to be completely honest. Alright, so I'm gonna buy that later. Uh, a coupon? A chuta. Heavy combat suit, so now get plus one. Get one more armor. I'm going to put my total armor to 20, meaning that they had to have a perfect roll, basically, to hit me at all, which is great. And then, Karth. Give Karth a that. What? Yeah, I don't even talk to Karth. Yes, what's on your mind? Me? Well, I've been a star pilot for the Republic for years. Seen more than my share of wars. I fought in the Mandalorian Wars before all this started. 
But with all that, I've never experienced anything like the slaughter these Sith animals can unleash. Not even the Mandalorians were that senseless. My homeworld was one of the first planets to fall to Malak's fleet. The Sith bombed it into submission, and there wasn't a damn thing our Republic forces could do to stop them. Sorry to hear that, bud. I'm just a soldier. I go where the fleet admirals tell me to. I follow my orders and I do my duty. It, it's just... <sighs> Doesn't seem right that doing that means I failed them. I, I didn't. Who's they? Yeah, no, I... That's not what I mean. I mean, I, I'm sorry, I'm not making much sense, am I? You probably mean well with your questions. I'm just not accustomed to talking about my past very much. At all, actually. I'm more used to taking action, keeping my mind focused on the business at hand. So let's just do that. If you have more questions, ask them later. What about right now? Yes, what's on your mind? No. Nope. You got it. Alright, so we need to find. Continue talking to Karth next level up, basically. Find the scrolls, dude. And then find Bastila. Yeah, so Karth is outranged. He's not as defended as I am. Sure. But when I get again, when I get some more money, I'll buy him some new armor and try to optimize him. Excellent. Rapid transits. Okay, well I don't need to do that now. But, uh, Buddy Boy is telling me to, uh, go to the cantina and check out Kebla Yurt. And this must be her store. Hi. Hello there. I haven't seen you in my shop before. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Kebla Yurt. Welcome to the Equipment Emporium. You looking to buy some supplies? My shop's the largest one in all of Upper Terrace. Best selection on the planet. Whatever you need, I've got. Well, mostly. Mostly? What do you mean by that? The Sith confiscated all my heavy weapons and they impounded all my ships and swoop bikes. But I've still got a real nice selection, if you're interested. Sure. Uh, just so you know, the prices on the items are our final. No bargaining here. This isn't a swap meet, okay? I only deal in top-notch stuff. Ooh, nice. 900, mm. 